It's me, Betsy from Happily Ever After, etc. And I am, oh, I am back today. Just a second, I bet this is gonna make noise. <laughs> Got it. Okay, I am back today with a little traveler's notebook setup. So we are going to set up this gold notebook for fall with my new fall set up. So here we have the four books that I've set out. We have a weekly insert, a budget insert, a notes insert, and a to-do insert. And I will show you each of those as we put them in. These are all ones that I've designed and um, will be up in the shop for purchase, hopefully by the end of the day. So we are going to get started, but basically we are going to put this all together. If you caught my ocean insert, I think that was last week or ocean notebook, week or two ago, um, this will be similar in that we are going to be putting in the notebooks and then we are going to be putting in dashboards and vellums. We've got all the pretty little clips and everything, except instead of doing a flip through, this time I am going to walk you through it from start to finish. So the first book we have here is the weekly insert. And of course it is just your standard Monday through Sunday. These do fit your average um, boxes, I guess you would say. Here's a here's a two littles bees kit. This is actually my Harry Potter kit. Now I've checked this like a million times when I was designing this insert. So of course now that I'm showing it on camera, I need to use this somewhere. Look how pretty that is. Uh, it's probably not going to work right. I hope it will. There we go. See. So if I wanted to use this kit in this week it would fit perfectly in these boxes. So it is ready to go and you can use it. I believe there are four months in an insert. I cannot wait. I am saving this kit for the new Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them movie that's coming out. So oh, look at that dashboard. Two Little Bees is just the best. If you guys have ever shopped with her, you know what I mean. But anyways, we are not talking about her today. I wish we were. We could just do like two little bees party. So since this is a B6 sized uh, inserts that I printed out, this cover is just same as the Ocean One, an inexpensive little cover that I've got from Michaels. Since this, when it's all done up with all the little pretties, will be going in the shop. Um, this cover is kind of the best option since it seems like people really like to purchase it without the cover so it just kind of protects it. Then we have our budget insert and that just helps you. We've got bill, amount, due date, paid and then you can check yes or no and I love those little check boxes. You see those? They have the same flowers as this kit and they are just so pretty. Okay. Perfect. Then we have our notes insert which is just for notes, it has that sweet little blue pumpkin on it. I love that, same one that's on the cover. And then I think this to-do insert might be my favorite, but that's just because I'm a list girl. So it has the little checklist and a list insert, which is nice. Alrighty, let's stick that right in here. So that gives us our four inserts, and of course, if you're using different inserts, you can put those in, but I think those are kind of the four most commonly used. All right, so then we're gonna put in our vellums and our dashboards. This might be my favorite vellum of all time. 
Do you see that chicken? Do you see how cute she is? I'm gonna put that around the to-do insert. See, oh my gosh, that is so cute. I love that chicken. I really want to foil these words. All right, I think we're gonna do a glitter dashboard. So, I've kind of planned this out, but not 100%, but you'll see kind of how I put everything together. All right, so then the next one, I did plan this one out because it has this pretty gold acetate and I wanted to make sure that it was the right setup. So here's our vellum. So my mom has been asking me like what the point of all of this is. The vellum's point is that it's awesome and <laughs> beautiful um, and it, you know, protects your cover. And then of course the dashboard protects your vellum. So it's a catch-22 and technically you don't have to have them. If you just wanted the inserts, you can do it with just the inserts, but I'd say if you're putting it together and you just want kind of the bare minimum, the dashboards and the inserts are your best bet because those dashboards are going to protect your inserts. And then we have, and if this is a planner like, um, my product planner or my blog planner that stays on my desk and isn't thrown in my bag, you may be able to not worry about protecting it quite as much. But like my on-the-go planner, it goes everywhere with me. And you kind of want it to be protected. Do you see how pretty this dashboard is? Like, that's textured, y'all. That's not just black. Also, I got this at Michael's. They should make this in every color. Like, if they made this in rose gold, I would have 50 of them. I didn't see one in rose gold when I was there. I love this acetate next to that paper. And then last but not least, we have the sweet little windmill and pumpkins. So since this is for fall, we have a lot of pumpkins and um, windmills and farm animals. It has a very gold autumn kind of vibe, which is nice for fall. And then We've got that blush pink with the gold foil dots for the dashboard. All right, so let's flip through real quick. So if you just wanted bare minimum, I would say this is kind of what you could do. You've just got your books and your dashboards, and you could easily, you know, use this as your planner. Now. This cover, because the strings are so loose, it drives me a little crazy. Um, you know, my planners are a little better made than this one, and so they don't do that. The inserts go all the way up to the top, and I think that helps hold them in a little more. But since these are just the inexpensive option, um, I think it's kind of a good compromise. I am going to start offering a nicer cover in the shop as well, but for kind of just that in-between option when you don't want to spend $75 or $80 on a cover, I think this is good. So, especially once you start to add, you'll see once I start to add all the little, little things here and there, it makes a big difference. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this front pocket. So I did cut down a piece of cardstock that matches one of these dashboards to go in here. I always like to add a little bit of cardstock just to kind of give that front pocket some definition. And then I did cut this little doily down to stick in there as well because I love doilies in your pocket. All right, then I got this little acorn that's gold rose gold rose just gold foil not rose gold I would prefer everything be rose gold foiled wish my life was rose gold foiled it is not but I thought that was so cute all right and then we have a washi card 
and I've just put a couple washies on it to get you started. And I'm gonna go ahead and tuck that, I think, behind the, oh yeah, that's cute, behind the doily. Okay, so, I'm going to grab a little bit of tape, my glue runner maybe, and we can glue those down a little. This is like the refill. It's not the full, <laughs> full little guy, but I don't know where my main runner is. So I guess we'll see if it still works as it is. I don't know. I don't know. We'll find out, I guess. It's hard to know without the other bit if I'm going the right way or not. I don't think that's going to work without the rest of it. I think I'm just being silly. Alright. Double stick tape it is. I don't really want to put it over that foil in case whoever buys this bad boy wants to reuse this sweet little acorn somewhere else. Alright, so I'm going to put this right here like this. Okay. And then I'm not going to stick all of this down because I want you to be able to take that washi card in and out. So I think what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to stick down the bottom to kind of hold it in place. And then you'll be able to slide that washi card in and out. Okay. Let's make sure this is in the right place. I want you to be able to see that T. good and we'll stick that down and then you'll be able to slide this washi card back here there that's perfect I think actually this needs to come down just just a little yeah like that okay that's better Okay. Oh good, all right, I like that. So now let's get started on this pocket. And I pulled a couple things for it, but not everything. And I did pull a couple die cuts, like this cute little piggy from the little set. Can you see that? It's kind of a it has holographic foil over it, so it's kind of hard to catch on camera. But I think she is going to go right here over the T. Oh, yeah, like that. That'll be cute. Okay, so what I'm going to do is stop putting my, stop putting my tape away so that I can use it. I'm just going to put a tiny bit on the back. That way, if I want to move her... Or whoever buys this doesn't want her there, they can move her. But, I mean, she's so cute. Why wouldn't you want her there? I really want to keep her. She would look so cute in my planner. I will make another one. That's the great part about printable die cuts. Okay, so then I have this little chipboard sticker that says XOXO with gold foil. And so I'm just going to... should be a sticker it's not going to be a sticker and I'm just going to like decimate the back of this oh well, maybe I'm supposed to glue that I was pretty sure it said it was a sticker on the package hmm alrighty then easy enough fix but if that I will check if that is supposed to be a sticker, y'all, it is not. I was pretty sure it was supposed to be a sticker because the other one's in the little in the little group were a sticker. Oh, that's okay. 
we have tape, and we have glue. So between the two, we've got it going on here. All right, so let's see. I think I was gonna put that like right here. Oh, that's cute. And then I did just stick a little bit of that leftover gold dot acetate in this pocket. So you can still see the gold. Um, if you wanted to put like a picture in there, that would be a really cute place to put a picture. So far, I am loving this. Loving it. Okay. So the other things that I pulled, and I'm not sure, were this sweet little horse, flying horse. Do you see how those wings are tied on with a little bow? I thought he would be cute right there, like peeking out of the pocket. But I also worry that it's too many like animals you know I love animals but everyone else may not we may put him right there actually that's pretty cute and then maybe put this little bow up here who doesn't love a little bow and I'd already stuck this gold feather in here I don't know. What do you guys think? I don't think that fits very nicely. Alright, let's keep thinking. Um, what I pulled for this pocket were these cute little Mr. and Mrs. Goose. They're very vertical and I thought that would be nice. Maybe like overlay them a little bit. Yeah, that's cute. I had stuck a little bit of this gold acetate up there to tie in with the bottom okay so so far so good maybe the bow up here oh that's cute okay so far so good maybe one of the one of the not animal die cuts <laughs> I've got flowers and pumpkins maybe one of the pumpkins would be cute tucked in here I think that's too much maybe we'll just leave that up there Ooh, what about down here I actually think that's kind of cute of course that's not really what I'm worried about I was more worried about up here But of course, once you fill that with more washi, it would be okay. I think I may just leave that little pumpkin there and call that good for now. We can always add more later. Okay, so what I pulled for the front cover here, and of course, these are going to start sliding everywhere since I haven't added enough stiff yet to hold those elastics in place. That's the only problem with loose elastics, is they're kind of a pain in the rear. Have you ever noticed that? Alright, so I pulled this little gold foiled ampersand for this front pocket. Not pocket. Would be cute to have a pocket. Anybody have a pocket for me? Send it this way. Oh, that's going to be really cute. Okay, so like right there maybe. Yeah, that look nice. Oh, I like how that looks. Oh, you can even see a little gold dot. Alright, so then maybe maybe we need a little windmill over here. That's kind of cute. I think that one might be too much. I have smaller ones. Oh, I have this little watering can. That could be cute. Hmm. Catch 22. I don't know that the watering can is big enough. I think so. The only other thing I have that's kind of the right scale. 
is this one back to this one and I'd have to cover up half of it I think the little watering can would be better all right so I'm gonna undo this and put some glue or maybe just a little little tape on this guy okay that's cute so let's get the feather situated first okay that's good and then I think that feather on kind of like the curve of yeah right there the amber stand would be good oh I like that okay stick that watering can down well, that's a good little like combination Okay, I'm not 100% sold on this right wretch here. I do have this little bow. I'd wanted to use it somewhere else, but that's not bad. I kind of like that, too. Maybe I'll stick that guy there. I don't know. Tell me what you think, you guys. I need some help. Hi, Cynthia. All right, so then what else did I have pulled? Oh, I had some stuff pulled for the back of this. All right. So for the back of this dashboard, I have a chipboard sticker and a sweet little lammy goaty guy. All right, so I think if we put him I like that. That would be cute. You are my happy. He's a very happy lamb, so that makes sense. Alright, let's stick him down. Well, let's just get him ready to stick down. Yeah, that's good. Alright, and let's pull this off. Now, I really like to watercolor these chipboard guys, but with this being a fall planner the natural wood look kind of makes sense to me so I think I may not watercolor them this time oh that's cute so you can kind of see them dancing let's do that you are my happy oh that's cute love it oh that's so cute okay I'm happy with that I didn't pick anything for this one yet, so we're going to skip that one. Alright, so for this one, I picked this little journaling card with this adorable cow doing the splits. I mean, look how cute that is. Alright, so... Little cow needs to be stuck down. I might need to cut this tape for him. It's a little too wide. Let's see how that goes. I don't think you guys can even see me doing the tape. That's okay. You know what tape looks like. There we go. Now. Should we put it on the acetate or on the dashboard? Oh, on the dashboard would be cute. Okay, let's put that guy on the dashboard. Don't you guys love putting planners together? It's just so, it's like arts and crafts time. All right, so we're gonna put a strip on this cow so that he's stuck and a strip on the back of this card. And then we'll stick it right on there. Oh, that's cute. I like that a lot. I always wish I can keep these things, you know? All right, so then at the back here, have a little journaling card and I may switch this chicken out yeah for that guy I think that would be cute 
trying to decide. I think I actually want to put this one like right here on this white part. Yeah. Okay, so I'm actually going to use one of my dangly bookmarks for that. I think that'll be cute. Typically, I like to use these for, you know, bookmarks, but I like to put them on cute little things every now and then as to hold them in. Oh, that's cute. Okay, and it's got that cute little toadstool on it and the little gold and silver beads. I like that. All right, so let's think about the back of this. We may actually clip in the big die cut right here. Yeah, that'll be cute. Yeah, I like it. I like it. I love it. All right, so then for the last board, I've got... I don't know. Let me clip this somewhere else. We'll think We'll think about that. I like that less the more I look at it. Does anybody else have that problem? All right, so apparently this is not a sticker, right? If we go off of the other one. Let's double check. Let's double check. See, I think this one's working. No, I spoke too soon. It It is working, but something's wrong with it. It started to show the adhesive and was sticky, and then it just started pulling the back off. So... They are supposed to be stickers, but they are, are broken stickers. I did get them from the clearance section, though, so I guess you get what you pay for. I will live. It is disappointing that they're not sticky at all. But just put me some glue on there. Alright, so I've got another one of these little chipboard guys. I think I'm going to put him, like, right there. That's cute. And then a little, little glue on the back of my arrow here, since apparently it's not sticky. I might actually be able to use the tail end of this tape I cut for that cow. No. It's not small enough. It's okay, that glue will, will hold. It's pretty good glue. I wish this was longer. That's okay. Right there, I think, is good. Oh, yeah, that's cute. Just a little card. Okay. And... Maybe this over here instead of over there. I kind of like it. Yeah, I like that better. Okay. And then, oh, I have an idea. Oh, that little cow or chicken is so cute. Maybe we put this here. The little horse. No, I don't know what I'm going to do with that yet. I may leave that out for this particular book. All right, and the last one that I have set aside is this little guy. Got so much stiff. Got the last little sheep. And this is actually a little card from Pele Studio that I love. It's foiled. It's so cute. Um, from when I bought some of my planners from her. But it's gold foiled, which is just not my thing. I like rose gold. So I thought it would be really cute in this planner. And I was right. It is. Alright. Let's stick. I'm going to stick two tapes. 
blue strips of tape on the back of this little guy because I feel like it will need it on this glittery stuff. Oh, that's cute. And I like how it's like at the back of the planner. Yeah, that's cute. Okay. And then I did pull this little arrow. It really frustrates me that this is not sticky. It is what it is, I guess. find out, right? Yeah, it is. Okay, so I just put some double stick tape on the back, and then I'm going to stick this, like, right here. Oh, that's cute. Okay. Oh, I like it. Alright, so let's see. Maybe we'll put the big one back here. I did pull another doily. Maybe I can make those work together. I do like that. Um, so I have these other two feathers. I think it would have to go like this. It's not bad. Let's see. I have this little heart. So much little stuff, you guys. Alright, so let's put some tape on this. Stick it to the doily. Doily. Does anybody else love doilies? I got these at Michael's, but in the like party planning section not the scrapbooking section so you know if you need one that's where they are so far so good i think i'm gonna see about tucking this back here let's see oh yeah that's cute all right so let's see so the question is we we might have somewhere we can put it in here. Maybe like right here. Is it gonna be too big? The doily would stick out, but that would be okay. I could stick it like right there. I kinda like it there. Alright, let's put it there. So first I'm gonna put this guy down because I hadn't glued him in yet. And this is just the other end of that journaling card I'd used up front. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put like there so it gets all three. Let's put another little bit like right here so it's right on the crease. And then we'll put a little bit, just a little bit, down here to anchor it. Yeah, that'll hold it all together. Oh, that's going to be cute. Okay, so let's see if we put it, like, right here. That'll be good. Oh, I like it. Okay. So, let's see where we're at. I don't know where y'all are. I'm at my desk. Alrighty. Hi, Karen. Thank you. Okay. Still not sure about this front part. Maybe we need the little bow. That's better. I think that's better. 
All right, so let's go ahead and stick. I always like a paper clip for the like page that I'm on. I'll show you guys this one first. So this is just a little hot pink floral. It's got the gold um, leaves on it that match everything. All right, so technically this would be the clip for just today, whatever day it is. That'll be cute. And then oh, we've got a bow, a big bow. Let's go ahead and close this so we can see where the clips would lay. I think this one would be good. Let's do this one for the budget. So technically this would be like for the budget so you can be like whatever page you're on let's put it over there that's cute we've got the bookmark with the little pink bookmark little pumpkin carriage there that matches all the cute um the cute little pink pumpkins we have in this kit. Here's the pink one I want to show you. I don't know why. You'll see it. Buy it. Buy it and you can look at it up close. The, uh, it's Tuesday. So the, of course it's going to be the first one. I looked at everything else. See, look. Little pink pumpkins. Oh, look, and there's another one. I'm sorry, these things make me happy. That's why I do them. All right, so let's put one here. This can be for your notes insert. Notes bookmark. That's always nice because I know I always have like a couple pages in there in your notes insert that you want to kind of keep track of. There we go. Then we have two more paper clips so it just depends on where you want those I would say probably oh, I was afraid of that that, that glue wasn't going to hold on that because I didn't put any double stick tape alright so let's try some tape and if that doesn't work we'll have to pull out the big guns it would be better if these would just stick you know, life doesn't always work. How you want to do? All right, so that should hold it. All right, we'll pull out the big glue if that doesn't work, y'all. That's why we always double check when we flip through. So I would probably put the least one paper clip back here in the to-do insert. Except it's going to misbehave. Come on, little dingly clips. There we go. That way you can flip to that. And then I would probably put, I mean, I would probably put the last one in the notes section because I like to keep lots of different notes, you know. You've got a grocery list, you've got a TV list, you've got notes for whatever. Alright, so I think that's pretty much everything. Let's see, see, and now that we've got all that stuff in there, those elastics work a lot better. Yeah, I think that's cute. Let's go ahead and move this over just a tad. And this one over just a tad so that they go together a little better. Perfect, and I'm telling you, like, I think I may have to re- the elastics in the last one I used were not nearly this bad. I may have to restring these. They may be too, too loose. Like, you should not have that much space there. That's a little 
crazy. All right, and then I did pull these cute little glitter dots. So I think I will put a couple of these around. Yeah, that makes that better. I like that. Oh, that's cute. Oh, I like that a lot. Okay, let's actually put another big one. Oh, it's getting stuck right here. Ha ha ha! See, once it like makes sense, it makes sense. You know what I mean? All right, I think we're good. I think we've got everything. So we've got our front insert, front cover, we've got our washi card, we've got our first insert, which is the weekly insert. You can flip right to whatever page you're on. We've got the first vellum, which is that pretty pumpkins and the windmill. We've got our second cover and our second vellum, which is just those gorgeous florals over the budget insert. Budget insert, of course, you can keep track of whatever bills for the month you have, how much they are, what date they're due, and whether or not you've paid them, which is kind of all the important things. I love the texture on this cover. Then we have our triple threat, which is the gold acetate. Our dashboard here with the cute little cow. My mom says he's doing the splits. And our floral vellum over our notes insert. We've got our bookmark. We've got a little page clip. I love that. Back to the vellum and the um, outside of that triple threat dashboard. Another little journaling card and our my favorite toadstool paper clip. I don't know y'all, I might have to keep that. But it goes so perfectly, that's the problem. It goes so perfectly. All right, then we've got our little doily. We've got another feather and a journaling card. We have that, s look, I mean, how cute is that chicken? How cute is that chicken? We've got the to-do insert. Keep all your lists. We've got the last paper clip so you can flip right to it. And then chicken butt. <laughs> oh, sheep, thank you very much and the little arrow. So, I mean, there's really only thing one only one thing left and that is to close this baby up. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm going to have to restring this before it goes to its new home. We will see. And put our little floral swag on the front. This is the first time I am putting the floral swag on since making it. I mean, I've checked it on here a bunch of times, but oh, that is so pretty. Sorry, hair. These are handmade, y'all. I have a lot of hair. All right, so we've got, of course, the blues, the blushes, the pinks, hot pinks, and the same gold pretty leaves. I think that is just so pretty. So I will spend a couple hours tonight. I've got to f photograph this um, and then I will be listing it in the shop. Of course, if you are looking for all the digital inserts, the die cuts, the printable pages, the budget insert, the weekly insert, the notes insert, the to-do insert, all the vellums, anything possible that I printed is in the shop. And if you want to bypass all of that, this exact notebook will be in the shop for sale. Um, drop it in the mail. You can get it in, I think, two to three business days. With all the little bells and whistles, you get the floral swag, you get the paper clips, you get the bookmark. If I put it in here, you get it. So, thanks for hanging out with me, y'all. I hope you loved it as much as I did. I absolutely love making these, but I absolutely hate sending them away. So, if you get one of my babies, 
I hope you treasure it as much as I do. And let me know. Um, I'll go ahead and wait to restring this. That way, if you go ahead and purchase it, you can let me know what color um, you'd like this restrapped with, okay? But I think I think this is just a little too loose, and I think that's causing problems. Of course, if you have a, a cover, the last gal who bought the Ocean Notebook, you know, she'd said she had her own cover that she wanted to use it with, so then that makes the cover here a little irrelevant. So just let me know. Just stick this right here. You can put it wherever you like inside. <laughs> All right. Bye, y'all.